We will show you in this video how you're going to use Excel in order to estimate risk and return for probability. The question is, an investor believes that the returns for an investment depends on the state of the economy. The following data are provided regarding each state and return. The state of the economy, if it will be growth, the probability is 20% and the expected return is 40%. If the economy will be stable, the probability is 50% and the return is 10%. If the state of the economy would be a recession, the probability is 30% and expected return will be negative 20%. Please note that the summation of the probability here, it must be equal to what? 100%. Therefore, we would like to calculate our expected return. So the formula for expected return is the summation of each return times its probability. We have an Excel built-in function, which is sum product. So I'll choose here sum product then highlight all probabilities, comma, then highlight all returns, close bracket. So this will give us an expected return of 7%. What if we'd like to use our formula? So we'll say that the first probability times first return plus second probability times second return plus our last probability times our last return. It will give you exactly the same answer. Then we would like to calculate our variance. So let's start with the formula first. What is the formula for the variance? I need to get the summation of probability multiplied by open bracket, get the return, minus our average or expected return, close bracket to the power 2. So let's say equal here, our first probability 20%, times open bracket, our first return is 40%, minus our average, close bracket to the power 2, plus our second probability times open bracket our second return minus our expected return close bracket to the power 2 plus our third probability times open bracket get our third return minus our expected return close bracket to the power 2 so this will give us a variance of 4.41 percent we can use an excel built-in function which is sum product so i will get here sum product I will highlight here all the probabilities, comma, then I will open a bracket, I will highlight here all returns, minus our expected return, which we calculated in the previous step, close bracket to the power 2, and then I will close the bracket. This will give us the variance, which is exactly the same as our formula. Then our last step, what will be our volatility or standard deviation? It is the square root of our variance. So if we get the square root of our variance, it will give us a standard deviation or volatility of 21%. And we can do the same here. Get the square root of our variance, it will give you our volatility. Therefore, Excel will save you a lot of time.